Greetings everybody, welcome back to Papa Bear's Kitchen. Today I'm just going to make a simple dish that we, uh, my family really likes. Uh, it's a good way to stretch some pork chops. I've got a couple of pork chops here, uh, left over from the other day when we had pork chops. And what I did was I cut the bone off of it, and I'm going to steam those or put them in afterwards and let them cook. And for the dog, I cut them into little cubes. And I'm trying out this new camera angle. I hope you guys like it. If you do, leave a comment. But I'm browning off the, uh, the pork right now, these little chunks. I'm browning them, and I put uh, a little seasoned salt and some garlic. That's all it really needs. And what I'm gonna do Oh, by the way, I hope everybody's doing okay. I hope you're doing well. Taking care of yourself. Taking care of each other. Uh, my sons, you know, I've mentioned before, they're pretty, pretty good sized guys, so I have to cook kind of a lot. And uh, we're always usually pretty hungry. So by this time of the day, we're ready for a good meal. But uh, I wanted to say thank you for all the viewers that have been watching my videos. And uh, for the new viewers, welcome. I hope you learn how to make some simple, delicious food on a budget. And uh, even if you're not on a budget, that's fine too. So my channel is geared towards easy, cook food and uh, not a lot of preparation and not a lot of fancy stuff, gadgets or techniques. Simple basic cooking. But I'm going to cut these into kind of big pieces. Uh, if you've noticed from my knife, knife usage video, you can see I'm using the, uh, the my finger here to guide the knife and using nice smooth motions to cut the food. It takes practice, I'll, I'll tell you that. I've cut my fingers so many times learning how to use this knife and um, you know if you're if you really want to learn take some time, take some time. I always tell my friends, or my, my sons actually, and my friends too, I guess, that uh, what I learned was that if you want to learn something, anything, give it 1,000 hours. 1,000 hours and you can learn anything. It could be a language, it could be a skill, it could be an art, a trade. 1,000 hours and you'll become an expert. And I've spent, oh, who knows how many hours in the kitchens. And I'll probably spend another several thousand hours in the kitchen. So, I still make mistakes. You know, I still cut myself. Once in a great while, I'll burn myself. But, um, it's very rare. Okay, it's getting nice and toasted. I don't want these to burn. I want them to toast, not burn. Okay, and I want this to be nice and brown. So that's looking good. That potato looking a little, a little worn there. Just cut that part off. But um, the weather's getting nice and toasty here. And uh, it's nice. It's nice to have the windows open and at night. You feel the nice cool breeze. Oh my gosh. Whereas during the, <laughs> the winter, we're like, close the door, close the windows. It's cold. But it's nice to have 
four seasons in the year. There's some places like uh, California, uh, Phoenix, where I lived for a while. You don't have the four seasons. It's just hot all the time. And um, I know California, they have a couple of months, I think, when it's uh, the weather's kind of cool. All right. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these sliced potatoes I'm going to layer it on top of the, uh, the pork there. And I'm going to add some water and let put the cover on there and let it steam. Let it steam really nice. And it should take about, oh, I'll say about 15 minutes. And when the potatoes are soft, it'll be ready to go. Get some water with it. But it's a good way to uh, stretch a pork chop or two. If you've got potatoes, you can uh, you can stretch that for three hungry guys or one very hungry guy. <laughs> and uh, when I was working construction, I would eat that myself that whole meal. And. Be hungry of about half an hour later. Anyway, um, for today, this is going to be our main meal. I don't know what everybody else has been up to, but uh, I finally had a chance to cook today. And, uh, you know, when you're busy and doing stuff, it's hard to find time to cook. And I understand that if you have a full-time job or if you have small kids. Uh... You know, it's, uh, you got to make time to cook. And I think it's important that, um, you know, if you have growing kids to, to cook meals for them and have them home cook meals. There's some, uh, some of my son's friends that have rarely gotten home cooked meals. And that's sad. That's a sad thing. So anyway, uh, I want to say thank you to the new subscribers, people that are, coming to new people that are coming to watch the channel and um there'll be more on the way so stay tuned and i'll talk to you later be well and be safe bye bye